I was really surprised to read that there's over 350,000 people here. Santiago's over 7 million, but there's just a lot of people out today. What is going on, Pikes? How are y'all doing today? We are here in Antofagasta, Chile. This is pretty far north in Chile. I was just looking at a map, and it felt really cool to see that that's where I was at in the world. It's really crazy to be here right now. But I'm just standing outside of Playa Blanca B&B. This is where we're staying for last night and tonight. But yeah, we have had a lovely morning here. We had a delicious breakfast with a cute old couple. I couldn't understand any of the Spanish that was being said, but it was really cool. And then we had a great morning just hanging around. Great accommodations. The common area is very beautiful and the room is really comfortable. But right now we are just jumping in the car. We're headed over to Plaza Cologne. We're gonna grab a bite to eat there and walk around. And then we're gonna head up to La Portada, which is a natural rock formation off the coast a little north of here. It should be really beautiful, guys. Let's go. You playing pokey, Franny? I'm just sorry. I haven't <laughs> played in days because I didn't have a <laughs> How are you doing today? Good, baby. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. To explore some Anafagasta. Mm -hmm. It's so cool being up here in North Chile de Norte. <laughs> Norte de Chile. Damn it! <laughs> Guys, we're down here at Plaza Colon in the city center? I think so, I think so yeah. It's okay. so beautiful out today, guys. One thing I noticed while driving around the city here, because I didn't really see much yesterday, is that it's super nice. And uh, I looked it up, and the average income here is actually 37,000 USD. Is that per household? Maybe. But the population of the city is like 350,000, which is probably double of Sioux Falls. That's in South Dakota where I come from. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the average income there was somewhere right around the same. So there's quite a bit of money in this city. Mining city. Exactly, and that makes sense because it's a mining city. Most jobs and activity in the north, I believe, is centered around the mining here in Chile. Something to know? <laughs> Check this walking street out. This is right off of the center plaza we were just at. It's so nice out today, guys. I literally stripped everything off besides my t-shirt, which I'm not used to. I'm used to having to wear a couple layers here in Chile at this time of year. But that's a, a perk of being in the north, I guess. We're gonna walk up the street a couple blocks and then head back to the car and head to La Portada. We were just walking back to the car and we ran into this food market. I'm hungry. Let's find some. Yeah, we're gonna go check it out, see if we can find any cheap food. <laughs> you want some of that, Franny? No, look at them. Big speed. They're hanging there. The well, this isn't quite what I expected. Looks like a meat market slash like sit down restaurant place. I was really hoping there'd be like some fruit stands and all the small little vendors I got kind of used to in Southeast Asia. 
I spoke a little too soon. There was fruit vendors right on the other side of that market there. It's interesting here, guys. It's like more rough than Santiago and it has my guard up. Like I feel, I feel like a little culture shock, honestly. And I'm not 100% sure why, but I think it's because like the people trying to sell stuff are like, like really in your face and really trying to get your business. A little bit more pushy. A little more pushy. Yay, my bag's still here. La portada? La portada. La portata. La portada. <laughs> Let's head to La portada. Maybe lunch. After we get this guy off. <sighs> Maybe lunchy. <laughs> and lunchy. It's really big. Well guys, we just got out here to La portada. Take a look at this. This is a real shame, but there's a path that leads all the way down to like a little beach in this inlet over here. But there's a sign that says that it's closed off. Apparently there's been like rock fall and stuff and the path probably isn't the safest. Oh, it looks nice though, look at this. It looks nice, it would be fun to go down there. And it looks like there's some tide pools right down here too. I would love to go look through those. But uh, that's okay, there's a great view from up here. I think we'll just have to settle for some awesome drone footage. Guys, there were so many birds during that flight. They didn't really worry me too much, but I know I've seen drone videos of like big birds attacking drones, so I was definitely thinking about it. I was waiting they kept for like, it. Yeah, they kept getting close and then kind of swooping off. But I, I get, I'm getting more and more and more confident with that drone every time I fly it. I think my handling skills or my flying skills are definitely improving and I just don't have to worry about losing it. I have quite a bit of faith in the return to home point if this signal is lost, so I just push it now. And and actually, like, I've been flying it out away from cities for the most part, and the signal's been three times better than it's ever been. I've been going out seven, 800 feet, and it's still staying pretty strong, so that's awesome. But it was definitely cool checking out La Portada. I love getting out away from the city and seeing something more natural. It's what I'm all about, guys. It's nature, getting out. Those nature vibes, baby. <laughs> the city can be fun, you know, it can be fun, but I love I love getting out to the nature. That's where I feel at peace. That's where I can really feel calm down. The city drives me crazy. But we're gonna head back to the B&B now, guys. Probably make some food and chill out. <laughs> We just went on an ice cream hunt and finally found what we wanted. Franny was looking for this one in particular. Nom, nom. Gonna enjoy these. Mm. Mm. And chill out in the room for a while. <laughs> Do you guys ever pick up your vlog camera after three hours and realize the microphone's still on? Yeah, that just happened. By the way, I've drank half a bottle of wine and I I'm thinking about I'm thinking about heading out and grabbing a couple more cervezas. I'm kind of enjoying the buzz feeling right now. It's been a while, honestly. Time to get a couple more cervezas. Guys, update number two from Slightly Drunk Jordan. Check this out. The owners of Playa Blanca B&B just sent up this complimentary drink and snack tray. How cool is that, Franny? <laughs> <laughs> Can we do that again? <laughs> How cool is that, Franny? It's so cute and cool. I know. Look at that. Look at they gave us cookies, juice, probably strawberry or something, and coffee, instant coffee, sugar. What is this? What I was curious about this at breakfast. Like you don't know what's that? I think your friend gave it to us one time, but it's it's, it's fake sugar. Guys, I've stayed a lot of places over the last year uh, traveling and this one's taken the cake pretty quickly. It's been such a good experience here. 
And I gotta say, if you ever come to Anafagasta, make sure to come and stay at Playa Blanca here. I can't say enough good things at this point. Franny? I love it. <laughs> she loves it. I love it. Sorry if the end of this vlog was a little uh, downhill, but we've just been hanging out and having a good time here. Anyways guys, first thing in the morning after a great breakfast here at Playa Blanca, we are going to be heading to San Pedro for probably at least three days. This is a destination out in the middle of the desert. There is a ton of crazy things to do out there and we are going to be having a lot of adventures. So if you haven't, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those adventures. And also smash the like button on this video and we will catch you guys back here tomorrow for the adventure to San Pedro. All right, peace pikeys, you.